I regret rejecting him. So I have a best friend who will call Jay who's also my schoolmate, classmate and we live in the same residential area. A little description on Jay he's tall, handsome, athletic, fit, smart, funny and sweet. He even has good hair and the most beautiful eyes. Jay and I had been friends from kindergarten up till high school. When we were in primary he confessed many times but I only considered him a friend. I never saw him to be as handsome and amazing as everyone else did, because I saw him almost all the time of my life. About a month and a half ago, Jay once again confessed to me, this time he did it more maturely and more in a sweet way that I actually felt butterflies in my stomach, but, I wasn't sure I felt the same, his confession did really make me think of it but I really valued our friendship more and I didn't think I felt anything for Jay, so once again I rejected him in a way I regret to this day, I laughed and said, so I'm still your little obsession, grow up and move on already Jay, his face after I said that made me regret my words, he didn't laugh like I did, it seemed like he was fighting back tears, I honestly didn't think he was being 100% serious because he would always say how he will confess 100 times a week to wait for me to say yes. Jay just walked away and left, he didn't come to school the next day, he didn't come outside when I went to call him to walk together to school, he ignored my calls and texts and when he did see them, he never responded, at first I was angry at him, why was he taking rejection so seriously, I already rejected him enough times for him to get used to it, that's what I thought then but the more I didn't get the notification of his text, his random FaceTimes, the goofy TikToks he'd send me, the more I didn't get to see his name pop up on my notifications, I felt bad, I had made so many tries to text him when I finally sent him an apology of a paragraph but it was then I found out, he blocked me. He came back to school after missing two and a half weeks out, those two and a half weeks I thought of him always, our desks were together so I'd zone out while staring at his desk, one of my friends even told me I might have fallen for Jay but I denied it, I denied it until I saw him when he came back, Jay looked like a whole different person, he had dyed his blonde hair jet black and had gotten an amazing haircut, his aura completely changed as soon as he entered the class, everyone looked at him and I did too, he sat down at his desk and didn't even turn to look at me, everyone came and showered him with compliments about his good haircut and he suddenly had the most charming smile as he thanked everyone. Well everyone but me, I turned to him with a happy smile and said, black hair, really suits you well, you look so handsome, but he ignored me and continued to speak to this other guy who even stopped talking so Jay would react my comment but nothing, he ignored me the whole morning and when our homeroom teacher came he asked to switch seats but was denied, he ignored me and hang out with the people he knew I didn't like, he always walk away when I tried to talk to him, I had actually come to accept that I liked him back, I even asked my friends and my sister and even my mom of feeling certain ways after he left meant I liked him and my mom said, maybe he just needed to leave for you to realize how much you care for him, and my friends and sister said the same, I decided to go and tell him the day after he returned. I didn't get the chance in the morning because he went to his new friends and when I tried to talk to him he went away. I felt so bad that I went crying in the girl's bathroom, I regretted it, I regretted it so much, I wished I had just accepted his feelings then and tried to see if I'd fall for him with time, I shouldn't have waited this long, he ignored me completely and acted like we were never even friends for the rest of the days that followed, I had enough of it though, since he had me blocked everywhere I took my sister's phone and sent him a long message confessing my feelings, apologizing and asking him if we could be friends again and telling him how much I missed him, I begged him to talk to me and really hoped he would see it. Now I'm waiting for his reply, I feel so distressed I want to cry, I feel anxious, I feel like he'll make fun of me, or reject me even worse but I'm ready for any response as long as he talks to me and reads my message, I don't care if he hates me now, I know I made him angry and I want to fix it, I feel sorry for how mean I rejected him too, sorry for my rant.